Welcome diecast collectors and construction fans. You have joined me for a brand new edition of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a newly released for 2022 Diecast Masters Highline Series Caterpillar 1 to 50 scale 242 D3 skid steer loader. Now, this model has been released before. However, this is the first time that it is in a special black onyx commemorative finish. Thus, the BK, standing for black, following the item number 85676. If you are not familiar with Diecast Masters Caterpillar models, and specifically models in their Highline series, they come in these white outer shipping boxes to protect the metal tin that actually houses the model itself. To open the box, choose a side. You can either pull back this DM tape or cut it like I do with an X-Acto knife. Pop it open. It will then reveal a nylon bag, which again protects the metal shipping tin, which houses the model. I really like the nylon bag. It's something they don't have to do, but I really like that they include it because it does help from the metal tins getting scraped or damaged inside the white boxes. All right, there's a look at our tin. Pardon my hand as I move the box out of the way. We can see the cat logo at the top left, 1 to 50 scale just below it. Again, the item number for reference, 85676BK. Now, again, if you are just finding this video and you are not a collector and you are not familiar with the term adult collectible scale models and what that means, these are not children's toys. Please do not buy these for your child as a toy. That is what this 14 and up is. Again, here in America, by definition, you are not an adult until you turn 18. However, these do have some small pieces that are very fragile, could potentially break off and be a choking hazard. So that's why Diecast Masters on all of their products has a minimum age of 14 and up, recommended minimum age of 14 and up. And then again, you can see the choking warning label there. Cat 242 D3 skid steer loader with a special black finish collectible diecast scale model replica. Here is the top of the tin, which is another picture of the scale model. Really, really looks good with that background with the white smoke kind of gives it an emerging showroom finish really really looks good in my opinion on the side of the tin diecast masters real replicas here's your black onyx and again the item number the last bit of packaging we can see the back shot of the model along with some real information about the real caterp caterpillar d42 d3 skid steel loader if that is something you are interested in please feel free at this point to pause my video and you can read that information for the rest of us, in true time-honored Diecast Emporium fashion, let's begin the unboxing by popping the top. First thing that we see is the Diecast Masters Caterpillar Catalog. Now, this model is a 2022 model year release. However, this is a 2021 Diecast Masters Cat Catalog. Pay no mind to the year. It's not really that important. What is important is that these catalogs are always recommended to keep because it shows you every cat model in the DM catalog lineup. All right, again, for the newbies, that is a hole on the left side, obviously. What is that hole for? Well, it's called a finger hole. You stick your finger in it. This is to open this model up carefully without damaging anything. So you lift it up, get it started with your finger, then you can take it out the way I do. On the bottom layer of foam rubber, you will see a piece of tissue paper. Remove that. Finally, we can get the first glimpse of the model sitting on the right-hand side of the foam rubber. And you will see three attachments on the left-hand side of the box. There's actually a fourth, but it is attached to the machine and hidden underneath this black piece of styrofoam. So let's go ahead and remove that. So with this black piece of foam rubber removed, we can now take the skid steer loader out of the box. So here he is. There's a first look at our model, pretty sharp looking. And we will remove the three other attachments. We have a pallet fork. We have a grapple. And a different, much wider, bucket. All right, let's pause momentarily. Allow me to get rid of the packing material from the review area. When we return, we will begin taking a look at the model and its attachments in much more detail. All right, as we begin the review, and as you can see the model on the no expense paired, really, really cheap spinny table, I want to get a few housekeeping issues and details out of the way really, really quickly here. 
So this is one of two Diecast Masters Cat Special Black Onyx Finish Compact Machines that are available now from your Diecast Masters dealer. If you look at the top right corner of your screen, I recently filmed a review on the 259D3 Compact Track Loader, which would complement this model very, very well. Uh, and then obviously you have this 242D3 that you're seeing in this video. Those two are not the only special Black Onyx Finish DM cat models that we have seen recently. There is also a special Cat D6 Bulldozer that, for my money, for whatever that's worth to you, my humble opinion, and another way to say that, is the best looking of the lot, in my opinion. Uh, there's also a backhoe and a special Black Commemorative Finish, and then a large grader as well. So if you want to build up a collection of Commemorative Cat Special Black Onyx Finish vehicles from Diecast Masters, there is a lot out there. Again, see the links at the top of your screen that have been popping up throughout this video. Also, you will notice that this has the Cat Modern Hex logo on this model, and that's because... This is an old tooling, or an old model. In fact, it's one of the first Diecast Masters models that they ever did uh, once they took over the licensing agreement from Tonkin and Norscott as the sole company with the rights to produce mass-produce Caterpillar scale models a number of years ago. And back then, one of the requirements, not suggestions, a requirement that Caterpillar had was to have a operator figure in the cab of these machines. So, and I, I go into a little bit more detail about this full story in the review of the 259 compact track loader. So if you want to hear that story, I'm not going to bore you by telling you the whole story again. Again, click on the link of the black 249, uh, excuse me, 259 um, multi compact track loader. So check out that review if you want to hear the full story. The bottom line is the operator is not removable in this machine. This is an old tooling uh, with a revised item number to tell you that it is the special black commemorative finish. Finally, last thing I want to get out. Later on this year, in fact, very, very soon, I hope they are on the water and coming. Um, if you don't like this in black, and you perhaps didn't get an opportunity to get the yellow and black standard Caterpillar finish of the compact track loader and the skid steer loader, they will be reissuing them in standard cat black and yellow later this year with the same attachments and with the modern hex logo. So in total, there will be six. So the original two, then the two special black onyx finishes, and then the cat OEM colors with the modern hex design going in order uh, from release date to now. Okay, hope that's not too much information. Hope I did a decent job of presenting that to you. Let's take a look at the four total attachments. This bucket is what comes already mounted on the quick coupler of the model. You can see that they provide you a different style bucket. This one is much longer in length. That's why I wanted to put it this way and uh, and put it right next to the bucket that is on the skid steer loader. You can see that it's almost twice as long. You are also provided with a pallet fork, you can see here. The forks are not adjustable, meaning you can't close them up for pallet width or anything or extend them out. And the last attachment that comes with the model is, for my money, again, the, uh, the best one. And this is a grapple. You can see that these tongs open and close, just like that. So if you do have some logs or small pieces of piping that may be, that may need to be moved around your simulated job site in your diorama, you could easily do that with these uh, grapples right here. I will show you how to install and remove one of these when we get into the functionality aspect of this review. But let's go ahead and quickly take a look at the decals and details of this casting as we are approaching 10 minutes in this video already. So, again, same casting from the original uh, 242 skid steer loader that we've seen a number of years ago. But, obviously, the biggest selling point is the black onyx paint job, which looks incredible on this model. What looks even better is the Cat Modern Hex logo uh, against the black background. The decals are incredibly sharp. They come out quite well. The wheels are rubber, as you can see, and they have a really good realistic tread pattern on them. I already mentioned that Bob, our operator figure, is not removable unless you want to disassemble the entire machine. That's up to you. You can see the detail inside the wheel hubs, complete with bolt and lug detail. On the back, you can see, again, painted on and detailed 
uh, either reflectors or lights for the machine. And again, you have some simulated guarding on the glass uh, window protection around it. Again, it's not really glass. It is plastic made to look and simulate glass, including up on top of the machine for the sunroof. Okay, now let's take a look at a bit of functionality. We will remove the table just for a moment because the first part of functionality I want to show you very, very quickly is the lift height, the maximum lift height that the loader arms can reach, which is exactly the same as the original version. And again, as you can see here, I know it's a black machine against a gray dump box. It may be a little bit hard to see, but it is not high enough to get over the side of an American style dump truck. There is a way to get around this. And the way to do that is to temporarily, especially if you're in a diorama, you can build a loading ramp and have the machine going up the ramp and then dumping into the machine. Uh, and then it will not look as shallow or as bad. Just an option that is available to you. Bringing the table back out. Let's take a look at the dump height now dump angle. Again, could be improved, but something is always better than nothing. How about the lower end of things where the machine can achieve a very aggressive cut angle? And as for a carry angle, there is some, but again, I would like to see that bucket be able to go back a little bit more. All right, I promised you a quick demonstration on how to remove the buckets or any of the attachments from the quick coupler. If you take a look at the quick coupler, I understand it might be a little bit hard to see on camera. The quick coupler is not modeled to be realistic looking. It is modeled simply for ease of access and for functionality. The top part of the attachments are hook over. You might be able to see these black hooks right here and here. They hook over the top while the two connection points at the bottom click in. So I apologize. I have to bring this closer to me in order to remove it. So I will do that now. Okay, as you can see, we have gotten the bucket off. Here's a closer look at the quick coupler with no attachments on it. So in this case, let's choose the pallet forks since in the compact track loader review, I showed you how to put on the, uh, the grapple. So again, hopefully I can do this on camera. Hook over the top portion first, just like that. Make sure it's on. And then aggressively click in the two bottom portions, being sure not to break off the fork pieces because the fork pieces are plastic and there you go you now have your pallet forks on and firmly secured to the quick coupler mechanism and there you go now you can turn this obviously if you wanted your quick coupler or your your forks rather to sit level or you can angle them back any way that you want to do it so that will end my review of the diecast masters 1 to 50 scale Highline Series Caterpillar 242 D3 skid steer loader in the special black onyx finish. This is not a limited edition or a special run model. It is just a special finish model. So, final thoughts. Should you purchase this model? In my humble opinion, that is entirely up to the individual. Again, main selling point, the special black onyx finish. This is not a new model. In fact, the main telling point here, again, I did this on the same thing on the compact track loader. You can see casted in is the original number for right here in the bottom for the original model a number of years ago. And then right under that decaled in white is the updated model number for the special black finish. So if you have the original, I would keep that unless you are super big into just special commemorative black paint finish models i would not say that this is a record I, I would not say that this is a must add unless you are like me and you collect everything that cat does in terms of their scale model program but again it is the exact same model no functionality aspect has been improved unfortunately our operator figure is still permanently affixed inside the cab i would hold off until the new ones come out with which again are going to be the same thing but at least it will have the updated cat nomenclature and the updated cat paint scheme those are my opinions in my opinion alone i hope i've helped you out with making your decision in this review thank you all so much for watching i'm tommy with diecast emporium if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and or comment and if you have a question please leave it down in the comment section below until next time i'll catch you in the next review